Hey y'all, today we're gonna unbox an air crisper lid you can use on your Instant Pot. All while having a whole lot of fun. Uh -huh. Unidentified frying objects. <laughs> <laughs> from recipes that croc.com. We give him a t-shirt so he'll remember. Yeah. We are here today to unbox the I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh it's got oh. oh oh my gosh <laughs> I need to put them chairs up. <laughs> we had a party and I still haven't put the chairs up. <laughs> Is this how how do you how do you pronounce that? Because it's got the word meal in it, but then it's got the word healthy in it. Is like it mealthy or healthy? Is it, is it like meal, like eel, or mel, like how the. My well, call. well, Get how do you say here. that? We're gonna call it the crisp lid. I, I heard yelling. It's okay. Daddy heard yelling you're, and you're stuff no, being thrown. No. And a dog running in and out. <laughs> this is a mess already. <laughs> I'm gonna put the chairs up. Sorry. And just like that, life shows up. <laughs> okay, get out. <laughs> However you say it. It's a crisp lid. Yeah, it's an air crisper lid. So let's say you don't have a foodie, but you got an Instant Pot, but you really like some of the features of the foodie. Like, you know, the air crisper broiler feature that we use on there all the time, like a lot, lot. Uh, oh, I didn't turn it back on. Remember what I said about life? Well, this is a gadget that we've had members of our crock posse holler us about say, hey, have you all heard of, have you used, and we have not. Um, but we're going to try it today. And yeah. So this is something that turns an instant pot into an air fryer or any, I believe it says six or eight quart electric pressure cooker. We've not done much research beyond the fact that we know that crock posse members are using it. And we also know that um, it gets high ratings on Amazon. And so this might be an alternative to adding a bulky um, air fryer to your shelf, or if you've already invested in a pressure cooker and you don't want to invest in the foodie, this might be a way for you to add those features without having to make a whole new investment. Mm -hmm. Or if you just like gadgets and you want to give it a try. I like gadgets. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just trying to open the box. There. There we go. So, accessories are packed in the phone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we are expanding our culinary horizons, according to the box. Instructions, you user better, guide. You keep those over there. It comes with a trivet. Trivet. <laughs> trivet. So. Okay. Oh, you got a little, little and, uh, every, all these gadgets always come with, like, little gadgets you may or may not use. Yeah, I think this is to help... I don't know, honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like I do. So this goes, I'm assuming, in the bottom of your pot. It's like a silicone mat. Yeah. Okay. That's a cord. Oh, look! Nylon tongs. Hey, tongs! Wait, wait. Oh, my. Let me see them. He's gotta, gotta see sure if they, they work. work. <laughs> make sure they work. See here. Oh, there see, you it, go. these are the tongs that have the silencers on them, so it's <laughs> not as not near as loud. Okay, so here's the, the big contraption I think. Okay. So this is the actual crisper lid. Looks like a spaceship. And look Mike, it has a warning for you. Do not touch hot surface. <laughs> and then there's another basket. I think that's it. And then there's foam. Yes. So. Don't put the foam in your Now pot. I'm just guessing this is going to go on like that. Looky there. Okay, let's look at the instructions. So, to recap, we have a silicone mat, a little basket that I assume would fit down in the pot. We need to rinse this off. I'm guessing, just guessing here, that this is the scenario. That's, that's a pretty safe bet. You think? So, silicone, like you put like... Oh, can they see pad. that? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So it's like silicone, kind of like you do a silpat pad on your um, like cookie sheets. Because you just learned that. I did. <laughs> I did. And then your trivet so that you get your air underneath and then the little basket to do whatever you're going to do in it. Okay, so it comes with a recipe booklet. 
And then the user guide. I'm sorry, I just thought of something I want to make in it. Oh, okay. Popcorn. Yeah, that's I bet a, you can. I bet you can. So this is saying read all the instructions first. That's not my style. <laughs> Let's see here. What we're going to do is... Oh, look, it's what, got a handle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I will say, I kind of... It looks like a, a UFO. Yeah. I will say unidentified frying object. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, see it's showing you how to use shows you how to use the tongs so you don't burn yourself. That's how I do it it's all like, the time. It's like they knew Mikey was here. Just like 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 it. So it lets you set okay, I think it's pretty straightforward. So if you want to rinse these off. Yes. What we are, we have a, some other recipes going today, and we need some fried bacon. And normally, I would grab the air fryer or the foodie and fry our bacon. And I'm, that is something that we make in our air fryers all the time. So we thought that would be an appropriate yeah. test. That would be an appropriate test to show you guys exactly, you know, how it compares. Michael. Let's remove the lid. I'm gonna put that mat down. I'm really excited. This is kind of just a totally new option. This holds a lot of water in it. Do you watch? Oh, Michael! I'm showing you for demonstrative purposes. Oh wow, that's way bigger than our. Oh. If we're going metal on metal, do we really need to put that down in there? Look at that. That's kind of big. Yeah, I'm not going to worry oh, about that. No, that's, so I'll wash that for nothing. Well, maybe that's to pull the whole pot out and set on. I don't know. Well, it's got to be in a pot. There we go. Okay, so bacon's back there, baby. Bacon. Now, first glance at this, I don't think we're going to get a lot of bacon on that rack. No, it's not going to be as much as what we're used to. No. However, I wonder if our other racks would fit in there. Try that bottom cabinet there, see? Or maybe in the trailer. That's like... Oh, yeah, that's that's the whole thing right now. Everything's in the trailer. Oh, wait, no, they're both in here. We just got to figure out which one's which. Just got to make sure we pack those two before we get in the trailer. Ow. There's a box there. This is our foodie basket. I would say you could just do it over the, or here, you could just do it like this. Look at that. And drape it. Show them what I did. I can't have bacon on my fingers. Oh. I just flipped it over so we can drape the bacon over it, and then that gives us more surface area. That's. She's been coming up with so many good ideas today. <laughs> like, she's a smart lady. Okay, so we're going to put some bacon in there. Okay, so I so believe comfortable. we typically cook at 360 for 12 to 14 minutes. So that's what we're going to try. I'm going to see if I can get six slices. And if I take this one to the side right there. Right. Just like that. Oh, not falling over the side. Down there. All right. So there's six slices of bacon. That's average okay. of what we can get in the foodie. All right. So let's look. Oh, it wants you to make sure your electric pressure cooker is unplugged so it's just serving as a vessel, uh, vessel. okay then we're going to place the the pot inside which we've already done and we've already got the trivet trivet okay and we want no food above the rim of of the pot That's check Okay, so we're going to put the crisper lid on top. Okay. Is it on there? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, and we are going to plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. We'll probably have trouble for using somebody's. Okay, so it's plugged in now. All right, now. We're going to look at the, I guess we'll hit temperature. Uh oh, what's wrong? Uh -oh. Is there an on, on off or somewhere? 
maybe this isn't working with this valve then. No, it was working before, wasn't it? Did that work? Uh oh. This is not good. No, is there an on off button somewhere? Oh, it's oh! Remember when I said, hey, is there an on off button somewhere? There's. Okay. So we're going to go temperature and we are... Which, you know what? That is a super smart feature. That way some little kid doesn't like pick it up. Right. Or, or you. Okay. Well, let me do 360. So I'm going to do 375. And then my time... So what will it go to? 350? Yeah. 350, 375. And I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to go to 14 minutes. And you can actually see through this lid. So if things are getting a little That's too. That's actually kind of cool too. And then we're going to hit the play button. Are you good? Yep. All right, let's watch. Oh, Ooh. oh my. It's like a show. Ooh. A baking show. <laughs> Dinner and a show. <laughs> or lunch anyway. That's really cool. Well, we will be back once our bacon has crisped up in three, two, one. Hey, Mikey figured out what this little black mat is for. It's for this lid. So you don't have to put it on your countertop. Isn't that smart? And I did that without reading the instructions. <laughs> don't try that at home. We are back and I apologize. My wife has pointed out that I was improperly dressed for the first segment of this video. And uh, so as I put on my little skirt, we are going to check and see where, how long you're going to hold that handle. until. Well, come on. Ready? All right. So, so this, this is 14, 14 minutes, minutes, 375. Oh, looky there. Heavens. That's yummy, that yummy. That looks good. Yes. That's. I will not, say. Well, I think also because it's a fattier. Um, uh, but that's what we typically like. Which it is, but that's what I'm saying is it's not as dark as what the no. fruity does, and that's at 375. Yeah. So. I'm not bashful. I'm not going to wait on you. Ooh, it's hot. It's crispy. Now, I will say, like, the edges are a little bit less done than what I like. Where the meat touched. Uh-huh. It didn't crisp up, of course. But, in general... A bacon. It got the job done. You've got a job to do. Is it mealthy or melthy? <laughs> I like this. We're going to have to keep testing it to see how it compares. Well, we got more bacon. <laughs> yes. Um, we need to cook more for the other recipe. That's your job. But I will say initial impressions are, I'm pretty impressed. They work pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I will say the accessories are a little bit different than what I like to use. Um, we kind of made this work for us. I'll be interested to see how some of our other, like, I made fried chicken last night, so I, I wonder how the fried chicken would do in this. Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. We do Brussels sprouts all the time, and so... Steak. Ooh. Fish. Yeah. I'm just spouting off food. There's all kinds of things. So, if you have one of these down below... What do you cook in it? What's your it? favorite thing to make? If you have an Instant Pot and you're interested in this, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've thought about getting one. If you have one, I'd love to hear your thoughts. We'll be back next Friday with a traditional um, Foodie Friday kind of thing. And if you have one of these, you can definitely play along at home. So, but if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, you got to cook all that bacon back up. It's worth it. <laughs> If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below mm -hmm. and become a member of our slow cooker, pressure cooking, RV traveling family. Milfy, Melfi family. <laughs> if you'd like notified every time we upload a video, click the... ding a <laughs> And But whatever you do, we hope you... Laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.